What the? That wind's starting to pick up. That temperature's starting to drop. Dang it. There's my alarm, folks. 2.45. We got the skunk. No way! No! No way! You're kidding me! You were kidding me! As I said it, as I said it, oh my gosh. That is cool. Yeah. Yes, you are kidding. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my lord. Is that not awesome or what? And look at this, even cooler. Not only, did, he wasn't even hooked on a one-legged craw because I ran out of craws. Oh my lord. Thank you, lord. Thank you, lord, for this. That is super cool, man. Golly, that's cool. What a catch. That's got to be one of my favorite catches of, of 2020 right there. No joke, man. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. My name is Mitch. Today, I'm meeting up with my buddy Brant and we're gonna go to a small little creek. It's getting ready to be a beautiful day. It's heating up outside. The high for today is 62 degrees. Little clouds in the sky, but it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. I always like to show you guys what I'm taking along with me uh, when I've got rigged up. I've got, this is what I think is gonna get the most use. I've got a Ned rig here on this Fluger. And then just in case I brought a bigger, this is the two sizes up of the Fluger on that. And this is a medium action rod, just in case the big boys are out. Also just in case, cause I brought a jig with me and I have my favorite lit rod here. And also we get to break out the bibs. Pretty excited. Haven't had these guys out in a couple months. So let's go see what we can do. I'm gonna head over to Brand's house now and meet up with him and then we're gonna get on the water. So we'll see you guys there. Heck yeah, well, my waders aren't gonna do me any good because a huge hole in them. Duct tape, fix them up. Turn it up, I'm gonna put down a little. Go for me, stove. Get me a. And it's not moving too quick. No, it's not. Not as quick as I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be moving. You could always just walk the edge where we're walking up. I mean, it's a little deeper than it is in the summer, but. Not by much though. But we'll just, we'll just hold the edge most of the way. So we can go up? Or we can go down? I don't care. What, what, you, you're like the one that's I've been the here. Most luck, yeah, okay, then we'll go up. So what you do when you don't know what you're gonna end up using. Bring them all. Organize it later. Yeah, that's the setup. That's what we're rocking with. Look at this little pool. I wonder if there's any fish in there. Some fish that need to be rescued and put over here. Moving pretty good. Dang, that's a workout. <laughs> you have to go around it. Oh! This can't be safe. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, 
Ja? Yeah, it is. Oh. Woo. Yeah, it's not bad right here. But it's strong. That current's strong. Oh, I had one, dude. Seriously. I just yanked it out of its mouth. Oh, man. There's a stick here or an alligator or something. Oh. Something big just went in the water over there. <laughs> it was big, big. Oh, you stuck? Yeah. Look at this. I got a diaper, I think. Oh. What the heck? Plastic. You think there's fish living in this current? Smallmouth love it, dude. Do they? Put this Eddie Nettie out there. I don't let it sink out there. Maybe my way back, so I'm not really like fishing, but I'll just leave the fly in the water and kind of do this the whole way down. Yeah? And just let it fly? All right, time to find the pool. It's already looking a little better. It's a Ned rig is what it's called. That's what I was thinking, right? Big, and it's got like a little ball and it's kind of got a little rattler in it, so. I thought I had one. I think it gets a little deep here. I think I might be SOL on this one. Dang, this current is moving, dude. Hey, look what didn't break off. Didn't come off. A little smaller, yeah. A little smaller, dude. Right there on the netty. Heck yeah, dude. We were just saying. They're in there. That's cool. Heck yeah. That's a. Maybe my. That may tag. That's. Technically, my first smallmouth ever, my last one was like a hybrid of some sort. Dude, heck yeah. Little smallie jaw. It's pretty cool, man. We didn't get the skunk, did we? Not today. I cannot believe this. In this fast current, dude. I was just saying how I don't think there could possibly be any fish here that could bite. I wonder if they loaded in here. That'd be awesome. I'm gonna stay right here for just a second. If maybe these fish are loaded in here. I had just stopped recording because I thought that we were just talking about how we were calling it quits, but. I threw it out there just like that, and I was just letting it kind of, I don't really know what it was letting it do. It was kind of letting that Ned rig do its thing.
Oh, I had another one. Came off. It's not even. It's not even that the current. Like, cause it 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 normally moves this this hard right here. It's the it's the edges that are deeper, so they're a lot faster than mm -hmm. they normally are. Cause like. Like I said, I mean, I, I I was catching fish in all this, but everything else was shallower. So they didn't really have any, anywhere else to go either. Yeah. So probably a little bit more spread out. Cause like over here, it's going way farther over into the bank than it did in the summer. It's just part of it, I guess. Like this. All right, man, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was success in my book. I, I love fishing and all the different types of aspects of fishing. And I'm super happy and I'm super fortunate that I got to take you all along with me. Just dropped Brant off at his house. I'm really hungry, I'm really thirsty. Everything that was used, I will link in the description box below. Shout out to my buddy Brant. Uh, follow him on Instagram at Brant Fox and uh, super cool guy. Tomorrow we're heading to Table Rock Lake to go find some largemouth bass. So stay tuned for that video. Now I'm so thankful for this day and uh, thankful for you all, of course. So thankful for my viewers. So thankful for my supporters. I will post this video um, in three days as scheduled, of course. That's my new thing is I will be posting video every three days. I'm on a schedule now. Every three days I will have a video posted. So in three days after uh, this film comes out, I will be posting about Table Rock. Hopefully that goes awesome and as planned. But anyways, guys, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind, please give this video a thumbs up because it really, really helps me out and I would really appreciate that. And guys, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah. You know where we are. It's tradition to come here.